Mike Grindle. Mike Grindle in good form. Gary Kirsten sitting out the last match that South Africa played. Very experienced man, even though he's only 30 years old, playing his 84th One Day International and approaching 3,500 runs. Look at that average, 45.5. Thirty-five years old, and uh, Mike Grindle coming back into the South African side after a tremendous season in domestic cricket. You see his averages over thirty-five. He scores four point two runs per six balls per over. In other words, only his twelfth match, mind you, just that one hundred, one hundred and six against Pakistan in the final of that uh, series in Johannesburg. But two good fifties in this series already. Wickramasinghe into Mike Rindle and Mike Rindle hammers it away through the cover area, cover point in fact, and that's four runs. That was very short from Wickramasinghe, so much so that he was able to hit it in front of the wicket on the offside. Poor delivery. By well, now everybody knows Mike Rindle's strength. Gives him room, short and wide. Rindle has no trouble dispatching those type of deliveries to the boundary. Benjamin DeVos about to start his third over from the duck pond end. To Gary Kirsten. Well up to him and Gary Kirsten gets this one away nicely. That's four runs just back with a square. Beautiful shot. Gary Kirsten very well balanced. Keeping his head still, not falling over at all. Able to take full toll at leg stump half volley. Very quickly, Captain Arjuna Ranatunga goes across to have a word to Chaminda Vaas, and wants to say, don't bowl there. Again to Mural Litteran. Once more, they have to hurry. He's very quick to get to the ball, Mural Litteran, and he's got good hands, so his pickup is often clean, but... Uh, not in the same league as Jonty and the boys in terms of hitting the stumps. Good running again. Mike Rindle calling early. It's always a secret. Burlithran swooping on it. Well enough. Getting rid of it quickly enough. Hit the stumps. Would have been interesting. Been very interesting. Would have been out. Yeah, it would have indeed have been out if he'd have hit. That's a good over bowl here. This is a very cheeky run. Oh, my goodness me. It'll be interesting to see how tight that was. Very good over from Wickramasinghe. This was the last ball, and they took a very cheeky single here. Moment of hesitation, but the man who ran into the danger end was always going, and that would have been touch and go again. This is beautifully picked up and whipped away. One bounce, four runs in the mid-wicket area. Terrific shot, uh, Gary Kirsten. He's worked on that over the last couple of years. Ball just short of a length, drifting into middle and leg. Plays that pickup. Plays it quite superbly. Runs for Kirsten. Should be hauled in. Won't be. Beautifully timed. Four. Well, initially the roar went up as it pierced the infield, and it didn't look as if it was going to go for four, but it just maintained its pace. And outfield obviously quite quick out there, and Middolf couldn't cut it off in time. about to say that's good running if he gets in well face down he got there but would he have got there in time classic case you get a ball directed at your leg stump full and you upset in a way that you haven't put it away for more runs so you at least want to get the single and run perhaps when it's not on
That's four. Short and wide. Rindle deals with it. Jimmy Abbott, not necessarily so short, but certainly wide. That delivery very wide. Pulled away. That'll be four. That's a good shot, Gary Kirsten. But Masinga just a little bit short. Straight enough, but a bit short. Punished. Yes, on this wicket, anything short of a length is just going to sit up and wait to be hit. Gary Kirsten in perfect position for the pull. Oh, and that's beautifully timed through the covers for four. He let it come to him, Gary Kirsten. It was an exquisite stroke. Just when I say it's difficult to time the ball when driving, he proves me wrong. But this a genuine half volley, wide outside the off stump. He really just has to, as you say, wait for it. And he can hit it square as well. And now the fielding restrictions can be lifted. Mira Litteran continues from the arc drive end and immediately is hit for four. Well, I think that will bring another change in the field. straight up in the air and he might be caught there's a man underneath it and he is caught so Gary Kirsten perishes like Rindle before him trying to hit across the line across the spin which is not that advisable with three men out on the boundary on the onside and all those gaps in front of the wicket surprising that uh, he was going for the aggressive shot there and you see hitting against that spin and all he succeeded in do was hit it very high the mid wicket ran in from the boundary and Atapatu made a safe catch so Gary Kirsten goes for a very well played 46 but uh, he gets out rather disappointingly to the bowling of Mira Lutheran and South Africa have lost their first wicket with a total on seven points. Atapatu, the man who made the catch of this shot from Gary Kirsten against the spin, trying to haul it away on the onside. He came in off the boundary at mid-wicket. Cox, 37 years old, the old man in the side, playing his 64th One Day International. And uh, 534 runs, often having to come down the order and have a bit of a slog. Sri Lanka actually doing quite a good job here. Although South Africa's only lost one wicket, 4.1 is no tear away run rate. Dalmasina and Mira Litteran are the two men that have put the brakes on. Simcox down the wicket, hits well, and that's four runs, one bounce. There is a man on the boundary at uh, long on, but he's a little bit too square. He's not straight enough to cut off that one. Good shot by Simcox. out well it hasn't really come as a huge surprise I, I don't feel that um, Mike Rindle was as fluent as we've seen him in the past he did seem to struggle just a little bit we saw him play just this shot three balls ago and as Kepler Vessels reminded us the same Buffalo Park delivery just short of the length Mike Rindle across the line two balls Go. He did exactly the same thing. The ball nearly clipped the off stump on that occasion, but he was just getting impatient there by his own fluent standards. Things didn't go so well for him this morning. 35 runs coming off 68 balls, 94 for two. That's exactly how he was out in the last match at Buffalo Park. It's the top of the off stump. I don't feel that he was better off with a pinch hitter in. Just knocking it down to long off and giving the strike to Pat Simcox. Let him do the slogging. Herschel Gibbs coming in at number four. He's batted at virtually every position in the top six from what I can remember. He's 24 years of age. 
nothing special to speak about there is best only 35 against india but a huge talent somebody that uh, desmond haynes rates as one of the most talented young batsmen in the world